Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and let me tell you, this has never been more true than this morning. <laughs> it was a night last night, and I'm so sorry I didn't get any video put up for you guys. But what I had wanted to do was, because we're now halfway through the month, I wanted to do a quick recap, reintroduction of the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight we're doing. So this month, I guess, Brian and I were kind of talking and we wanted to do something that was more community thing, people doing things together and came up with this creator spotlight. So each month we're going to pick a creator and then you guys will share pictures of um, things you've made following their patterns or tutorials. So this month we went, <laughs> we went for the big one. We, um, it's bag day. So over in my Facebook group, I've got a lot of people sharing their pictures, which is super awesome. I'm so excited to see them. And then I also have a hashtag, um, KK Creator Spotlight 822. I did the numbers at the end thinking we could change them as months go on. We'll see if it works. Um, it's not a platform that's being used at this point, so maybe we can drop it. We'll see. If you don't use either Facebook or Instagram, you can feel free to email me your pictures at craftingkitty at gmail.com and I'll put you in. So because we've got the things coming in from all different places, I was having trouble trying to decide how to pick the winner. So what I've done is I've got my official legal pad of names and it says up here, Crafting Kittery Creator Spotlight 822 Bag O Day. So I've gone through and I've listed the names and next to a number. Right now we're up to 25 entries. I wrote this up yesterday afternoon, so I have not yet checked if there's any additional entries. So I'll do a, I've got that list. I'll do a random number generator, probably on my iPad since I film on my phone. And we'll just go one through 25, pick the number, they're the winner, they'll win a prize. It's a mystery at this point, um, but I have an idea of how prizes are gonna work in the future, because you guys seem to be digging it. I'm digging it. So I will give it a try a couple more times and see if we're still liking it. I really need to figure out the ring light and the glasses situation, don't I? <laughs> It's all a work in progress. Okay, so a couple of things, um, questions I've had. Um, I fully understand patterns need to be adjusted or changed. You know, sometimes it doesn't fit your body and you need to alter it. Or you look at the blanket and you're like, I don't, don't want to do that big ruffle on that baby blanket. So you pick a different border. Totally understand. As long as you can point to the tutorial or pattern that started you off, we're good to go. Um, I do ask that you link or name the pattern when you send it to me. So just so we know, and if people see it they're like, whoa, I like that, they can go easily find it to make one for themselves. And then, um, I've lost my train of thought. So altering is fine. It does not have to be something you made this month. That would be awesome. I'd love that. But if you've made things in the past and you have pictures, share away. I'm totally down with that. Remember, I am limiting it to three entries. You can share as many pictures as you want. Please go to town. I love it. There's so many beautiful people have made the most gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to totally forget the name of her new shawl. Bird of the Night. Is it Bird of the Night? It, the owl inspired one. Those are coming out so beautiful and so many post virus shawls. They're fabulous. And um, somebody, I have been curious about the little, she has like a mitt that's a can cozy. And <laughs> I have been curious and I've been thinking, I want to make that for my dad. But I never did. And someone made a few and put a picture up. So now I'm inspired to go actually make that for my father. <laughs> um, of course, it's on the list of whips. So it'll get done. Um... Okay, so older projects can be, you can alter, share your, uh, share the name of the, the tutorial or pattern. There's something else I thought of. Oh, okay. So I've realized we might have a slight issue 
in Facebook coming to YouTube. I know people often use different names. I use different names. I'm surprising my legal name is not Crafting Kitty. I know. So if you if you use a different name on Facebook and would prefer that name not to appear on YouTube, I totally understand that privacy is paramount. So shoot me a note, put a, a reply on your um, picture on Facebook. Just let me know what you want me to refer to you as on YouTube. And I will, I will respect that. I totally, I totally understand. Um, and then I think, I feel like I am missing something and I can't remember it. So who knows? Um, so I will draw a winner for this on the 31st of August. Yep. So we'll do a winner on the 31st of August. Then I will come back on September 1st and we'll pick the next one. Exciting. So, um, yeah. That's all for the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight bag o day. And I will see you tomorrow. And you know it's tomorrow. Poor Decisions with Brian. But I don't think it's actually going to be Poor Decisions. It's, um, we're going to put up a video, but I don't think it's technically a Poor Decision video. <laughs> Okay, so have a wonderful day. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.